New York City may have been the next target for the suspected Boston Marathon bombers. In fact, the surviving brother alleged to have carried out the attack in Boston is talking to authorities. Here's what Mayor Michael Bloomberg said a few moments ago. Last night, we were informed by the FBI that the surviving attacker revealed that New York City was next on their list of targets. He told the FBI apparently that he and his brother had intended to drive to New York and designate additional explosives in Times Square. Former New York counterterrorism chief and Bloomberg contributing editor Richard Falkenrath has been helping us to navigate this story since last Monday. He's with us on the phone right now. So, Richard, you said the mayor's remarks surprised you. Why is that? Uh, well, it's actually not that unusual for the mayor to go out when there is a threat uh, to New York City and to talk about it. That's one of the things that New York City is really good at is they, they are not passive recipients of information that uh, reveals threats to the city. They take action on it. Um, there was one nuance in there that did surprise me, which is the mayor made clear uh, he learned about this information last night from the FBI. But in the Q&A, it was revealed that the FBI learned this information Saturday or Sunday night. And that's quite a long lag. So, Richard, uh, then, full days. picking up on that lag, honestly, does this just make the FBI look bad? Well, it's a bad week for the FBI. There's no question. And this may uh, turn into a debacle uh, for the FBI. It's hard to say uh, if that was the subtext of this uh, event. But uh, these sorts of uh, conf uh, press conferences and actions by New York City are understood by the FBI. Uh, they uh, sort of respect what the city is doing. But they often find it, frankly, a little disconcerting that the city is so forward-leaning and so much more aggressive uh, and protecting uh, its own turf than, and its own city than anyone else's. So do you think then, as far as the comments go from either Police Commissioner Ray Kelly or from Mayor Michael Bloomberg, I mean, was there a reason for them to go public and talk about this? You know, the main one is they now, last night they were officially informed by the FBI that the, the two brothers had intended to travel to New York City to attack the city. And they're, they are not passive recipients of intelligence. They don't just take the information and note it and move on. They do things about it. And so that's the main message here that they're really conveying is uh, they've heard something new last night. It concerned them. It, re it reaffirmed uh, a very widely held sense that New York City is the foremost terrorist target in the country. And then they're showing that they take action when that happens. Richard, you ran counterterrorism here in the city. What kinds of efforts go on on a day-to-day -day basis to protect citizens that the average person doesn't even know about? Well, the ones that the average person doesn't know about are all related to intelligence collection. So the, the police commissioner did mention the NYPD Intelligence Division. And New York City Police Department runs its own intelligence service in and around the city. And that, that is completely unique and largely invisible from the public eye. There are a lot of things which are visible, the camera systems, which you can see on the street, and the deployment of visible armed uniformed officers in high-profile locations. But the city does a lot behind the scenes to try to identify threats before they materialize.